it is up to us to stop them. The people of Barbados never gave the DLP government any mandate to dismantle the system of free university education. Let us therefore raise our voices and demand that they put this issue to a vote by all of the people of Barbados in a nationwide referendum. We, the Barbadian people, must have a say in something as fundamental and serious as this. First of all, we would have to speak to the entire um, student body at Cavill, and even wider than Cavill, the student body of Barbados, so that we, the students themselves get a good grasp of, of the issue, all of the parameters of the issue. We would also need, in collaboration with the students, to hold public meetings to explain the issue to the wider Barbadian public, to make sure that we all grasp all of the dimensions of the issue. We have, to, we have to make sure that we don't allow the government to simply suggest to the Barbadian people that this is simply an issue about finances. That the government is short on finances and so this is a, this is a, um, a stop gap, an expediency. And that the Barbadian people should just see it within those narrow parameters and accept it. The issue is much more fundamental than that, much wider than that. And it's important that all of the parameters of the issue um, are ventilated. It would also be important to reach out to sectors of the society, civil society sectors, the trade unions, for example, um, the various um, professional organizations, community-based organizations, women's organizations, uh, the Association of Retired Persons, all of the people's, the various people's organizations. It will be very important to reach out to them, to try to have meetings with them, um, to discuss the issue with them, and to get them to come on, on board. Um, so, it would call for a, a multi-pronged uh, public campaign. Democracy and development that Mr. Barrow delivered on Friday, the 25th of April, 1980. And I quote again the words of Mr. Barrow. The distribution of largesse cannot be development. Conspicuous consumption by politicians is not development. The construction of office buildings is not development. The purchase of warships and armored cars is not development. Gambling is not development. It stands to reason that any political party seeking to fulfill the expectations of the populace for equality, job security, the ending of privilege, and so on, must set out to accomplish these objectives in a planned and organized manner, working along with the people. The record of the Democratic Labour Party in fulfilling these objectives has made it possible for real human development to take place. The elimination of the inequalities of the school fee system and textbooks, the provision of hot meals, the introduction of national insurance and social security, training in the hotel industry and in the Samuel Jackman and Prescott Polytechnic, the community, community college, the provision of free university education. All of these illustrate that our living has not been in vain. End of quote. So there you have it. In spite of whatever difficulties Barbados may be facing as a nation, the very last thing that Errol Barrow would have contemplated doing as a response to those difficulties is to eliminate the provision of free university education 
for the young men and women of Barbados. In fact, he would never have believed that the jettisoning of free university education could ever be considered the appropriate response to an economic crisis. On the contrary, he would have asserted that it is when faced with an economic crisis that more than ever Barbados would need to devote its collective resources to the education of its young people. Prime Minister Stewart and his DLP colleagues need to listen to the voice of Errol Barrow. Mr. Barrow may be dead, but he still speaks to us from the pages of the many speeches and essays that he has left behind. Listen, for example, to the statement written by Errol Barrow in 1985 a mere two years before his death, and published in the DLP booklet entitled 30 Years and Onwards, this book. And I quote Barrow's words, quote, I have always thought of myself as a socialist in the general terms of the British Labour Party. Democratic socialism is about planning, and equality of opportunity. It has always been fundamental to our basic philosophy. We have tried to ensure, so far as possible, that every child born in Barbados has the opportunity to develop the talents with which the Lord has blessed it regardless of the family circumstances into which it happened to be born. That is why one of the first things we did when we won the government was to decree that secondary education and subsequently tertiary education would be free of charge. The success of that program has been proven for all to see, end of quote. That was Mr. Barrow two years before his death. Prime Minister Frandell Stewart and the vast majority of his ministers have all benefited from free education at the UWI. Stuart himself was born into a poor working class family and was raised by a single parent, his mother, who worked as a maid. But Stuart was fortunate to come of age in an independent nation whose founder leader, right excellent Errol Walton Barrow, had had the good sense to accord the right of young Barbadians to education from primary school to university level the status of a de facto fundamental human right and to put a system in place whereby the cost of education was collectively borne by all taxpayers rather than being left on the shoulders of the individual student and his or her biological family. 